have my workshop in Monmouth. It's, it's a you know it's a kind of natural place for a stone carver to be. So a typical job. Well, I, I mean a job for a client is one thing. Where it, and, and in a sense it's you know I'll do a drawing almost always um, because they need to know what they're what they're lending themselves in for. Um, and and the drawing you know we might change the drawing quite a few times if, if necessary I mean that's the that's in a way the whole point of coming to someone like me is that you can do that you're not buying it off the peg you've got it you we, you can the thing can evolve um, and it's important that it's allowed to uh, because otherwise 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 you may as well get one off the peg I've usually got at any time several ideas for sculptures rattling around in my head and they've usually been rattling around in there for quite a while. A typical example was a, a little sculpture I had I had a I had in mind um, I wanted to make a sculpture of a kind of a kind of embryo, a very sort of large headed baby as it were. Um, I went to the quarry one day uh, and and I was looking for a stone. I, I didn't have much money so it had to be it had to be off the you know had to be off the off cut pile. I found this stone that was just perfect for this idea. I mean, I actually, I think as I remember, I went to a pile thinking of various different sculptures, but there was this stone that was the right shape. But what was more important was the the way I wanted to do this this embryo sculpture, this human embryo, was was to be having it as it were sitting upright, but with the head leaning forward. And I found this stone where the where the stripes of the of the sediment uh, were straight and then curved a bit. Uh, and I thought, well, uh, how fantastic! I could have this. I could make a sculpture where the where the markings in the stone are kind of echoing the shapes that I want to make. And then a client bought it at a moment when when I really needed somebody to buy something. Um, so that worked out very well. Uh, I run an evening class, and you know now I've I've mostly got a kind of group of regulars who come in. Um, every week and indeed most of them have been doing so for for the last two years or so they're now very much on their own projects i mean i start them off on a on a kind of set project we do a tudor rose or or we do an alphabet depending on whether we're doing lettering or, or carving um the nice thing for me is kind of when we get through the the first stages of doing a set exercise what people want to do for themselves because basically they have some very very interesting ideas um so i had one student um who who did this extraordinary sculpture of a of a, a sort of, it's a sort of seascape, effectively. It's a stone seascape of waves crashing over a boat, uh, which is an extraordinary sculpture. And it's not one I would ever have thought of making, but it's a really, really unusual thing, um, and and it's great. Um, and I've got another, another, another student, Alan, who um, uh, who's an architect, and he has been making a Corinthian capital uh, for the last two years. Um, he may have another two in there. Um, uh, he's incredibly patient, but it's going to be an amazing thing. Um, and then I have Elizabeth Reed, who's doing a, a very. Uh, he's doing. A, well, she does lettering, but at the moment she's doing this this very very large letter S on a piece of stone, so that it almost looks like a. It's almost starts to look like a landscape. Um, that's, it's great. You've got other people coming into your workshop and kind of bringing new ideas, and it's lovely. One of the great things about stone carving is that um, uh, is that it, it sort of changes completely as you as you go through a job. It starts off being a pretty destructive process, <laughs> and as uh, um, the further you get on, the, you know, the, as the more sort of the further the closer to the end result you get, the more precious this thing becomes, and the more the more you treat it gently. 